So ours, these are the supply tubs that will be at your table, be at your table. Um, each table has their own and I have red, yellow, and blue. And a couple things that I wanted to go over, um, you will have two pencils. Please make sure they are facing down and it should say art on them. Please don't steal them. These are our markers. These are fine tip markers. These ones are permanent. Make sure all the markers are always facing down. That way the ink will get to them. And these are water soluble, meaning you should, uh, they're not permanent. And if you're going to paint with these or add something later, it would run if you use watercolor. And if any of these run out, uh, let me know. You can uh, refill them. And this year I have put, each table has their own little sticker. So this would be yellow too. Oh, as you can see, it's in the wrong tub. Sorry, it should be red too. I'll have to go through and change that. And inside you have erasers and they say art. Please do me a favor. Um, oh, and you also have your little short ruler that says art on it as well. Uh, please do me a favor and take care of all these, but especially with the erasers, this is what has a tendency to happen. Don't destroy them. Um, I don't know why artists do that, but please don't do that. Take care of things. And like I said, you will have these at your table and typically they are just at the front of the table. They will sit there and at the end, make sure everything's facing down, everything's the way it should be, and we are taking care of them, and also that we are not putting trash inside of these. Thank you. This is where the pencils are kept. As you see this side, it says sharp and that says dull. Uh, this pencil sharpener you can use it doesn't work the best the one by the door is the best. best the one by the door is the best please don't use it if i'm in the middle of teaching a lesson here's our scissors and i have origami books and origami paper when you're done with your stuff and at two parts of the room i have baskets it looks like this i have an another one that i'll show you a picture of in a second but that's scrap paper this is project paper which is nicer and thicker and every tissue box should have um, hand sanitizer right next to it. In these drawers, they're labeled with things that you can also use. We have Sharpies, please keep them facing down. And if they don't work, please throw them away. Inside the drawers, we have nice erasers. Kids, believe it or not, they've stolen them. Please don't steal things and other erasers. Things that are in these drawers, they need to stay over here. These are my pens. Oh, uh, gel pens that we will use later, washi tape, um, extra pencil sharpeners, more pencil sharpeners, and glue sticks. Then these are our pens, micron pens, fine sharpies, but you have those at your table, medium sharpies, and regular sharpies. These are the refill markers if you need them. You can come and get them over here. I have glue sticks. These are Sharpies. And these are extra things. These are extra erasers that kids have destroyed. I gave you guys new erasers. And other things that I use in the classroom. Do me a favor, when you use these, these are little trash cans that you can take to your seat. It says empty, I kept one full of stuff so you could see. Please take the time to empty them and make sure that the sharpener is in there. That one actually actually went into the trash can. Let's see how this student left that in there. Please take that. You can take these to your seat and use them, but make sure you empty your trash, please. These are my iPads and down below, I have Chromebooks that you guys can use. Uh, please make sure that you are, here's the Chromebooks, that you are using your own Chromebook, that you bring it charged, and that's part of your responsibility for the class. Um, the iPads we will use to take pictures of our artwork and put them in our digital art portfolios. Um, you need to be responsible with them, otherwise you won't get to use them. Please do not plug in the chargers unless they are dead or they're like at 10%. And up above, you're gonna see the messy mats for that you use for painting if you need an extra one. 
like I said, be responsible with the iPads. Thank you. This is the extra supply closet. It's at the side of the room and it says extra art supplies. I do not mind if you use these when you're done with a project. And um, these are the mannequins. We're responsible with those. Those are very expensive. I like to use those for drawing. Stuff up here is my stuff that I use. So please don't mess with that stuff up there. Pipe cleaners, kids like to make stuff with them. All the way in the back artist, you're going to see um, where it's, there are mirrors. You can use those for doing your portraits. These are hands, wooden hands. Please be school appropriate with the wooden hands. Um, there's your glue sticks, salt for painting, and then it's just a variety of stuff. These are watercolored color pencils artists. They're nice, you can draw with them and then you just add water and they'll turn into paint. And then there's little markers, fancy scissors, crayons, extra more, extra markers in the back, uh, tape. If you want to use masking tape for painting or doing something like that, make sure you put it on your clothes first and uh, like on your pants and then you pull it off and then most stickiness comes off. This is nicer, thicker paper for doing uh, bookmarkers or stuff like that. And then on the bottom we have regular glue and more scissors. If you have any questions, you can always ask Mrs. Millian. To the same area you took it from and everything is labeled. And when you're using these drawers, please be very aware uh, and gentle when using them. So these are colored pencils uh, that are all by color and these are metallic i only have one drawer metallic color pencils and the rest these are the larger permanent markers again if something is not working uh please throw it away you don't have to let me know about it and then these are the regular sharpies by color over here i have tubs of color pencils typically you can just take these back to your seat and use them and the uh Pencil sharpeners that I showed you earlier that have the goat cheese containers, those are for colored pencils, not for regular pencils. They, colored pencils actually have a softer lens, so they'll jam my mechanical sharpener. And then we have more drying racks. This is the eighth grade drying rack. That's the seventh grade drying rack. Extra smocks are up above. These are my cabinets that I put stuff in. These are more markers that you're allowed to use. And there's extra refillable markers, smocks. Please make sure they're uh, hung up nice and neat. And then over here, you're gonna see my area where I've got my paper cutters. And this we will go over later without or, uh, taking pictures of your artwork. So a couple things that I wanted to go over. Um, the, these are the green baskets where you will turn in your projects if they're on paper. I usually take them down and set them on the counter and each class, like 8A is my first eighth grade group. This um, is scrap paper that you're more than welcome to use. Usually I have um, recycled scrap paper there, this colored paper. In this first drawer, I usually go over those later, it's uh, special drawing pencils. And in this drawer right here, there are rulers. So there's the special pencils. Here's the special rulers and the drafting rulers. Uh, we will go over how to use those. Drying rack. Um, this is the typically the sixth grade one and the colors, see how there's red here? So if you sit at the red seats, then you would uh, put your painted project here without your messy mat. Yellow would be underneath here. This is for my first sixth grade group that I see. And this would be my second sixth grade group that I would see. And I did a little bit of rearranging and I made this uh, more organized section to where there's extra markers over here. When we have Flexible Friday, you guys can get the markers out. Um, there's my how to draw books. All my stencils are in this uh, plastic tub right here. And in these rainbow carts, you are more than welcome to come back and use this stuff as well. But again, anything that you take out of a special area, please remember it goes back.